The two Bayanese men who were fatally shot in Suriname between Tuesday and Wednesday are allegedly connected to recent murders in Georgetown, Guyana. According to officials, the victims, Osik Basilio and Jeremiah Smith, were linked to two separate homicides in Guyana. The Guyana police force, in a brief statement on Wednesday, disclosed that the crime chief had contacted authorities in Suriname who confirmed the deaths of Basilio and Smith. Basilio was a suspect in the murder of Joseph Wilkinson, who was gunned down in February. Similarly, Smith was associated with the killing of 70-year-old Clinton Chase, who was shot outside his home in La Penitence last week. Sources suggest that Wilkinson and Chase's deaths may be related to the murder of Quetzal Basilio, Asik's brother. Quetzal was fatally shot by his wife's lover, Nyoma Jabbar, on Christmas Eve in December 2023. Jabbar had been released from prison just two weeks prior, having served time for the murder of Talisa C. Marshall nine years earlier. Quetzal, 31, lived with his wife Wanda Jones and their four children at Lot 769 New Young Professional housing scheme in Diamond, East Bandemarara. Jones informed the police that she had asked Jabai to bring KFC to their home on the evening of December 23rd. Jabai stayed the night after arriving with the food. In the early hours of the morning, Quetzal returned home and confronted Jabai upon learning of his presence. A confrontation ensued, leading to Jabai fatally shooting Quetzal before fleeing the scene. Upon investigation, Quetzal was found with two gunshot wounds, one to the neck and another to the chin. A .32 spent shell was discovered in the bedroom where the altercation took place. Wilkinson was killed while attending a wake in North Ruinvelt on February 4th. Witnesses reported a silver car driving up and firing shots at Wilkinson. He succumbed to his injuries shortly after. It is alleged that Wilkinson aided Jabba in evading capture following Quetzal's murder. Chase, a relative of Wilkinson, was shot and killed execution style on April 7th in front of his home. Investigations revealed that Chase lived alone and was found motionless outside his house with multiple gunshot wounds. All individuals involved had prior interactions with law enforcement.